I'm gonna do a little live commentary of Brody cleaning up my Birkenstocks because there's a lot of tutorials out there and they don't quite get it right. And as a professional leather worker, especially in the footwear industry, we've learned a lot of information on how to clean up all these huge dark spots, how to also restore some of the cork that's separating at the heel and even some of the lighter grease spots because the reason this is so greased up and discolored is because I dropped an entire steak on it. Not a, not a frozen steak, it was, it was melted and it's all cooked, all the oils and juices slopped on the one shoe. So step number one, what we're gonna do is take a pretty stiff bristle brush and just scrub this thing. Because what you're trying to do in this step is remove as much of the surface dirt, remove as much of the grime and junk that's coated on the top of the leather before we wash it because you don't wanna wash and force all that grime and grease and oil deeper into the leather, making it even harder to remove it. So the way you do this is literally just put a little, you can put your hand in there like Brody's done and, and, and give it some structure to brush it or he's actually what he's done is put a towel on the inside so he can really scrub on this without the leather deforming. There's a lot of different bristle brushes you can get. We'll put a few in the, in the description of this one that he's using that's a plastic bristle brush. Um, we're gonna put a horsehair brush in the description because if you're, if you're brushing a smooth grain leather, you don't wanna use a really rough brush on it because it'll scratch up the grain and you'll regret it. But on suede or nubuck, you can use these bris these harder bristle brushes and they, they help remove all that dirt and grime. And you know, just scrub until you feel like you've got as much off of it as possible. If you don't wanna buy one of these or you don't have the money, you can, you can use like a really stiff toothbrush, but honestly, it's a very uh, effective tool to have for any type of cleaning of any footwear or leather product. And don't forget to get the strap and a few other piece, places because it's, if, especially if you have some gross stuff on there, it's like uh, steak fat, it's gonna start to smell and it's, it's you just wanna get as much of that removed as possible. So you can see now that he's brushed it pretty well, there's still definitely some dark spots on there where that, that fat and oil really seeped into the leather. And so that's where we're gonna get to the next step and really pull that grease out with a heavy duty wash of Dawn soap. And if, you're, if your Birkenstocks are not really heavily soiled, you can skip to the next step. It's a little bit lighter of a, of a cleanser. But if yours are as soiled as mine, you might wanna start with the Dawn rinse because of how effective it is at pulling out the grease. Because we've all seen those videos of the duck with the oil on them and how Dawn removes it. So the way that we're gonna do this is you just need a little bit of water, a little container, dump some of the Dawn in there. We went pretty heavy, maybe it's probably a teaspoon, a couple teaspoons of, of uh, Dawn in that water. And then same process as before, you're just gonna scrub this thing as much as you can because the more you activate that soap, the more it's gonna pull those oils out. But once you have it pretty well scrubbed, dab off as much of the water as you can, then take it over to your sink and just rinse it really thoroughly. A lot of people are afraid of getting their, their leather wet, but if you condition it the right way, like we're gonna do later in this video, it's, you just shouldn't really worry about getting them wet. It's more important to remove all those suds so that when you're walking around on a sweaty day, you're, you're not walking around with bubbles trailing behind you. Next step, we're gonna do the lighter cleaner, which is if, you, if they're not really soiled up, there's not oil or grease spots, you can skip right to this step because this is a more gentle cleanser. And we're gonna put a few different options that are in the description, some expensive ones, some cheap ones. Um, and basically what you're gonna do is the exact same process as before, but now that we're using a more gentle cleaner, you can start scrubbing up that insole because that's a lot. That's where a lot of the smell comes from. Even though leather is natural, anti-smell, antimicrobial, you still wanna clean it with one of those light cleansers. And then I would just let it dry. You know, while you're drying it, you can, you can scrub the outsole, get all that dirt off of there and scrub all the other bits because this gentle uh, cleaner is, is, is not gonna ruin anything, especially in that footbed where you've got a lot of caked up dirt and crime, you just give it a scrub. Then once they've dried overnight or a few hours, they're gonna look a lot darker. You might be a little bit concerned, but now you're gonna take that stiff bristle brush, preferably a brass bristle brush, especially for the suede and nubuck, and we're gonna bring a lot of that color out and we're gonna scrub it and bring some of that color out, reopen up the pores and those fibers so it's ready to receive the conditioner. And as you can see, already quite a big difference. So the next step, what we're gonna do is add some conditioner. And this is another step where you might be like, oh, I ruined my Birkenstocks. And you gotta make sure you get, get the right conditioner because if you use a really oily conditioner, it's gonna completely change the color of your leather and you're gonna be upset at me. But if you use a lighter conditioner like this Chamberlain's or Big Four or some of the other options we put in the description, it's still gonna darken them a little bit, but over a, a couple weeks, it's gonna lighten up quite a bit. But as you can see, just by putting conditioner on it, it makes it quite a bit darker and it lays those fibers flat again. So don't be concerned because what we're gonna do is let this dry and let it seep into the leather a little bit more over the next couple hours or half an hour or so. 
And so while that conditioner is drying, we're gonna fix up the cork on this heel because that's where everyone has issues with their with their Birkenstocks. That starts separating, the, the glue holding it together is starting to separate. So we're just gonna take a little bit of shoe glue, a little paintbrush, and you don't need a paintbrush. You can just work it in with your hands. But what you wanna do is take a little bit of that shoe goo, pull open the cork and try to work it in there in between the individual grains of cork. And then you can also put a top layer over top of all of it to seal it back up once you've got all the that glue worked in into the inside. And you can do this every couple weeks if you're really having issues with it. It's not gonna hurt anything. And now that the conditioner's dried, the heel's taken care of, you can see that it is darker and it might be a little concerning, but that's just the conditioner on top laying those fibers flat. So if we take our, our stiff bristle brush, our brass bristle brush again, start scrubbing it, it brings all those fibers up, it brings the color back while you still have that conditioner deep inside the leather. And as you can see, quite a big difference already. These look almost brand new, especially this side that didn't get the huge grease stain. So compared to the other side, quite a bit a difference. And now what we're gonna do is scrub this other side to really see if that really deep cleansing we did pulled out all that oil if we still need to go back and do it one more time. So now Brody's putting that towel back in there to structure the toe box to make it easier to scrub and also not deforming the toe because you can bend that. And now once again, brushing it, just scrub this thing to death because it, it's, a, it's a flesh out new buck. So it's gonna be really hard to ruin this leather. You could scrub this for days and you'd still have plenty of leather left. It's not gonna hurt anything. And also don't forget to scrub the insole, scrub the strap, scrub everything. It's gonna bring that nap back up and it's gonna prevent it from being super slippery, especially on the insole. And people ask, do, do I condition the insole? I wouldn't just because it's gonna make it a little bit more slippery. If you start to feel it get really dry and it, you feel like it's gonna start cracking, then you can and put a little conditioner in there, but for the most part, your natural oils and sweat are gonna condition that leather well enough. Now that we have it brushed, cleaned, conditioned, see how it looks at the final results. These before pictures, pretty beat up, pretty nasty, lots of steak juice on it compared to these shots where they, they don't look brand new, but they're about as brand new as I've seen anybody bring Birkenstocks back to. And that's because we use that really heavy Dawn wash. We use the right conditioners. We use the right cleansers and the right brushing techniques to make sure you're actually getting those conditioners deep into the leather and pulling the bad oils and dirt out of the leather as much as possible and it's gonna prolong the use of your Birkenstocks, it's gonna make them look better, it's gonna keep the heel together, and overall, just taking care of your footwear is always a smart thing to do, especially if you're trying to get these, these expensive shoes to last as long as you can. So that's the full process, go out and give it a try, let me know what you think. Just another warning, don't use a really oily conditioner, and anytime you put anything on your shoes, make sure you try it in a little spot where you can't see it first, maybe like on the strap or something to test the conditioners and the cleaners. You just never know. So thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see more of these, be sure to let us know what you want us to clean and show you how to do, because there's a lot of bad information on the internet on how to take care of your leather. So we're trying to correct that and make sure you guys are getting the longevity out of the, out of the products you buy and that you're relying on every single day. So thank you guys, see ya.